that may be one of my most popular mixtapes or albums. Um, so, Hitmaker is my NR. Hitmaker is my NR, so he oversees a lot of the things I do. I I wanted to do a deal with Empire for two more albums. And I wanted to do Winner's Diary on my own because that's a different vibe. It's a Chicago, it's a Chicago vibe. It wasn't me pushing him out my situation. I just wanted to have control over the way the music sounded. I know my fans pick up on the different vibes in every album. And I felt like Winner's Diary 5 would be very special. And I didn't want anyone to come in and change that sound or change that energy. When I made that decision, Hitmaker literally washed his hands, as he said, washed his hands with me. Now, along with me making that decision, Hitmaker is upset because I would not pay him $2 million. So now we have a man that number one is upset because I want to work on my craft. And number two is looking for money. You understand? So me being the person that I am, I had a heart. And I said, Hitmaker, hey, I don't want you to feel like I'm unappreciative or that I'm pushing you out of my, my situation because I do appreciate what you do for me. And at the end of the day, we put in a lot of work, so let's keep it going. I brought him on. I brought him on to create Winner's Diary. But by that time, yes, ma'am, $2 million. And that's what I think people don't understand. A lot of people don't understand. I've seen videos today, women going live. I'm not going to even speak too much on the women going live because I know you have no clue who you're dealing with. And I may not be known to you, but I want you to know that I'm a multimillionaire. I don't speak on finances. I don't speak on deals or money, but I have to stand up for myself. No matter who you think I am, no matter what you think I do, my bracket is far behind both of you guys combined. You understand?